Hey, everybody, Catalan Gamer. Welcome back to PCM22 Classics Puncher. This is episode 49. Points classification is the team objective for the Tour de Polonia. Uh, but they start me literally at the very, very, very back. Their immediate sprint has three points available. The stage itself has 20. So I think today I'm more interested in partaking in the sprint where a fifth place would probably do more for me than trying to steal two intermediate sprints. I also think that I should be semi-capable uh, at least of competing in the GC. No, maybe not win, but getting a decent finish, top 10, maybe top 5 in this race overall because it is a handful of easy punchy stages and two or three sprint stages. That combination means I should see the end in each stage and as the team wants me to compete for points I think that means good finishes and all it's going to take is a few top threes and maybe you know an intermediate sprint or two in one of the stages like an earlier sprint not like this one where it's at the end and we could easily find ourselves you know competing uh, in the GC all you need is that handful of seconds gained. Five minute advantage to three riders and they're long ways away and this is gonna come right down to the final kilometer. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward to that time. And we're inside 14K to go. I've already got my train formed up. We are short one rider with Stoll not having any energy left, but I've put him to the end of the train if he can you know, somehow hang in there but as we uh, get inside 10k to go come is going to push a little bit harder he's got a minus five today i actually have a, a disappointing uh plus one on a fitness peak where i should be seeing a plus three but you know nothing new <laughs> nothing new in this series i i swear this pro cycling series uh, we constantly get that negative race day condition based on what it should be I and mean, it's you know we average probably more than a point below what is expected uh 5k to go and Engelhart is not even giving us anything uh about, uh, not even out front this is not a good position this is not where i want to be 3k to go Aliotti finally gets us out front i mean that's the first we've seen of that and with 3k to go 2.7k to go and still guys out in front of me we're starting our sprint early 2.1k to go Guerrero now There's reports of a group of riders well, to, to get out of the well, way please they all managed to set off again. Colby 1.5 he is going to lead me through. Give me a There's decent lead out here. 700 meters. And this is looking like a top five. Colby's going to steal a position from me. <laughs> they easy. Colby gets sixth. I get eighth. Really? I'm a couple meters behind Colby, but that's still maybe one meter behind Colby. Eighth place, though. Oh, that's worth some points. I was hoping for top five. Stage two is one of those days where they just do not want to let anybody into the break, but it looks like I finally found a moment where we are able to escape from the front of the field at... Oh, no, 13, jeez. And, yeah, Rodenberg, Denz, and I, looks like we might have uh, managed to escape... And uh, there we are. We're actually over two minutes ahead with nine riders behind us. Jersey wears. That doesn't feel right, but... Looks like we'll be caught by those nine, so... appears that we'll have a 14-man break here soon enough, which means I am going to have some competition. But we have three intermediate sprints today in which we are targeting first place through those and then immediately fall back to the field to conserve some energy from there so uh, with this many I don't think I really want to work gap holding at 220 so there's enough contributors here and a lot of guys leaders sprinters like Denizi are all here. 
18k to go. It's going to be hard to get some points with this field. I mean, this is sprinters. This is definite sprinters. Alright, inside three kilometers. Rodenberg's already getting a lead out. 2.2. .2. One point eight. And the sprint is on. We're going flat out for this. I don't think I'm gonna win it. Can I even hang on for a top three? I do. I think I did. I have fifteen points now. Which is more than what I had, so it was a top three. I was second across the line there. I also gain two seconds, which is the big thing about that. 3k to go to the next one. And we move forward once again, 2.2. Supposed to be going 99, but it certainly doesn't feel like it as we make our way left, right, left, right, and I'm going backwards, getting past while I'm trying to go. Definitely not winning that one. That was weird. 99 effort up fell off the back and there was no sprint yet yet I fell off the back with an 84 flat rating on 99 effort and there was no sign of a sprint happening at that stage clearly they must have been it just didn't show visually I'm gonna have to do a lot more than that to get anything on the third one but either way We've managed to pick up a couple of points and a couple of seconds, which is good for that GC. <clears throat> now a lot of the sprinters are not going to make it through all the punchy stages, so they'll fall away. Whatever I can get in these first three stages, it's going to be a bit of a gift. 6k to go for one more effort. We did too long last time. We're going to have to go forward earlier. 4k towards the back end. Let's get forward. Three and a half K. Little left, right, left, right. Still can't get forward for some reason. Two K. There we go. Find some space. 1.6, 1.4. And you see these guys are pushing again. But there we go. Full sprint. Come on, come around that right hander. And we're going to go through first. Yes. Three minute advantage over the field, by the way. Now, is anybody going to contribute at this point? Okay, a couple guys do come forward. They're after the KOM. They're moving along in a fair lick. You just gotta hang on. I'm in a group of nine where none of us want to work. She's going to bring us back towards the field, but that is totally fine. Apparently, I brought all these sprinters with me. We're already down to 30 seconds over the field, and we're back in it. Now five riders are left with just a one-minute advantage. They'll be caught, which means we have a sprint at the end of the stage as well to contest. Inside 15 kilometers, last time we did not get a very good lead out, as there's the final breakaway rider, Johansson, uh, about to be reeled in. The lead out did not set us up very well at all, so let's see if we can get a better lead out today. It was really hard to get a high finish last time, only finishing 8th. Camda has already managed to get us out front, which was something we never saw in the last stage. 95 effort level did that. 10.9 Guerrero. Let's see what a 96 will do for us. And for now, that looks to be enough to keep us out front. Inside 10K. It's already a kilometer and a half that Guerrero has led, and he's going to make it to 2. Plus, he makes it to 2.4 before he falls off. So now 97 for Stoll. Can we keep that forward momentum? 
the bot trying to attack, or so it would appear. Okay, now 98 from stole 6k to go. Gel up. 99 from here on out from everybody. 5k. Three lead out guys. Five kilometers remaining. All feeling it just a little bit, but this foot down approach, more so than before, is working. That was also the last little uphill section as we now have 3k to go and Engelhardt is done. And my gel kicks in. I've got two guys leading me out with 2.8 kilometers. Coming out of this corner, I want Aliotti to sprint. 2.1k. Colbe sprinting, coming out of this corner. And final kilometer. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a top three today. Colby was a half bike length behind. He's half a bike length behind. He, he's at my pedal. He was at my pedal, and I give my teammate the win. I didn't back off because he was half a bike length down. It was close. I didn't know if I was going to beat Viviani or not with the bike throw, which literally we get beat every effing time. But is that final sprint, that final push? He's definitely not ahead of Viviani. <sighs> from that angle, though, it is far tighter than what we saw from the other angle. Either way, top three, which I don't expect to win any of these sprints. I am not a pure sprinter. Good acceleration, but I definitely don't have the best top speed from that angle. That's a very different angle than what we saw from behind our bike and it looks like he does just get it from that one that's okay it's a team win which is fantastic I also gained an additional four seconds plus the five that I picked up so that's a nine second swing now and we're into third with Colby one second ahead his stats have been revealed and you can see he's more of a pure sprinter but shouldn't be necessarily beating me but you know I only have a 75 sprint four points out of the lead in the points class classifications we're in a good state after two stages and I didn't see this one coming but we have leveled up at this point getting better at the sprint is the most useful especially in the late stages of you know what's going to be our final season there's no classics to worry about anymore so a point in cobbles isn't going to help a point in mountain is useless at this stage one point in hills could come in handy but I like the sprinted acceleration better because it can be used on either type of stage back to back days with a plus five race day condition we have just 10k till the first intermediate sprint I want it so we are going to sneak we're gonna go up effort and I know that they're not going to be wanting to let me break away, so let's get some help. Kamna has a 76 flat, so we are going to have him come forward as well. And Kulbe is already up there and on a plus five because he sits second. They're not going to want to let him get away as well, but I actually don't necessarily want him picking up the points and screwing up what I'm trying to do. So let's go ahead and get Aliotti. And we're going to attack the three of us together as you see how much faster I was able to uh, get through the field. But I want these two up there. Let's not let somebody get away far and fast. So I'm going to keep the effort up for a little bit until those two get here. All right, now all I have to do is follow, and this is 4.6k. So Aliotti is going to just really put foot down. And we're already into a lead out situation. So 99 from him. 2K, so Kamna. Oh, I can't get Kamna to sprint. Kamna won't sprint, huh? 
Okay, that's gonna have to be close enough from this position. Oh, I got blocked by Kamna. I'm still getting blocked. Wow. I didn't even attempt to sprint. I, I got to half the road wide open and it still made no attempt to sprint. The fact that we never followed that up with an attempt to sprint when we still first was gone in that moment because somebody got a, a head start, but uh, the fact that we got no points and never even attempted to sprint when second and third was still very much available, that was really annoying. Drizners, Molinar, Halverson were the ones picking those up. Molinar was tied with us, so he picks up some bonus points. But looking at them, we don't have much on Drizners, but he's not a puncher. Molinar, no idea. Denizi, definitely not a puncher. And Climber, or Viviani, or Stewart, or Rodenberg, or White. So all of those with a lot of points aren't contenders. So that's good news. Four riders in the break. Plus five. Two days in a row. I said a plus two draw two days in a row. So I got back to neutral. And then I have a plus two draw over the race somehow. We see it again, 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 again. And then all of a sudden I say something. And then it's the game's like, what? What are you talking about? I, I give you positive race day conditions. See? Look, here they are. Here's a plus two for you. And then slaps me across the face. Challenges me to a duel. Not with the leather glove, but with the... The metal gauntlet. <laughs> no contention for this sprint point. Maybe the next one, though. It's only a minute 40 to those front four. Really don't want to contest that necessarily, though. That's... Aliotti has somehow been dropped. Them on auto. They are back in contact. There you go. 12k to go. 110 to those four. I don't think they're going to be caught right now. Those four. Johansson again. Johansson only five points. Okay. 50 is 16 seconds down, so no, not a threat. 42k to go. And now just the sprint at the finish coming. It's going to take a good finish as I'm, you know, only third, but 79.85 today with 87 stamina. That's a good bonus. That is a good bonus. I should be able to contend, you know, for top five minimum. That type of bonus. 28k to go. Trying to get back up to the front. Oh, 10k to go already. That one's not happening, so... Somehow Colby got water. Oh, Colby, way back there. Oh my, okay. Uh, get behind Aliotti. Stole. Let's try to get to the front. Really late for this. Eight k. Still can't even get through. Camna definitely can't get through, but he's got a better flat rating, so yeah, still just gets through right at the end. Has anybody else made it back up here yet? Guerrero makes it up with water. Hey, okay, how did he pull that off? Uh, and then manages to block me. The are the last 5k. Of the stage. Just under a kilometer late. Should kick in in time. And Guerrero has succeeded, but has nothing left in the tank. So I'm going to drop in behind. Block toe at least. 
Come is done. 3.6, angle heart. Two lead out guys is all I have now. Yeah, and it's technical, so let's go. 1.9 with Aliotti already on his sprint, draining me a little bit, but inside one kilometer, and we've got that good lead out. But there's a lot of really good sprinters. The road's really wide, but I'm still near the front. Second place. I'll take that. Second place. Use that red bar. A lot of those guys faded just before the finish line. So that early sprint caught other guys out. My red bar, it's gone. But it lasted right to the finish line, which is why I got second and not eighth. Because uh, I think the difference between first and tenth is half a wheel. Maybe a wheel. Certainly not much. Oh, and the field split all over the place. Let's see if there's any time gaps on this one. It's a sprint stage. They hate giving time gaps here. Uh, 144 riders on same time, even though we saw large gaps at the finish line and small groups spread out all over the place. But, you know, hey, whatever. Uh, we got second most points on the day. Back to the general. We are second place, one second behind Denizi. So, wow, on that part, that's good. We are in great shape after the three sprint stages and heading into the punchy stages. And I now lead the points classification as well with 55 points heading into the punchy stages where you're going to see a different group of riders. The sprinters aren't going to be there anymore. Now you're going to have the punchers coming forward and we're still going to be competing. Now, I think we're going to compete a little bit less so with the punchers than we have with the sprinters, but barely. We'll get top tens, meaning we'll still get points. Will it be enough? Will that be enough to hang on? There's a lot of stages still to go. 55 is not a ton of points by any stretch of the imagination. But if none of the sprinters are up here with time, and the normal time is 16 seconds down. We have a 15 second advantage over those, assuming we manage to finish up front with all the groups. And if we get one third place and, you know, pick up another four seconds or another intermediate, pick up another two seconds along the way, is a 15 second advantage over the bunch going to be enough? Big question. We'll find out next episode. That's going to do it for this one. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.